Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, I've long been a critic of the excessive levels of overseas ownership of our key public utilities, thanks to the failures of the previous Conservative regimes. And indeed, some 80% of our offshore wind industry is overseas owned. So I have some sympathy, the House may be surprised to hear, with the aims and ambitions, or some of the aims and ambitions, of GB Energy. Indeed, it may be that uh, the Secretary of State was, was, was sort of listening to me a couple of years ago when I was talking about this. And in the spirit of being constructive and helpful uh, to the Minister and the Secretary of State, I would just put forward a couple of suggestions, because my model of joint venture, partial public ownership of monopoly, critical public utilities is a 50-50 model. And the Secretary of State in his opening remarks referred to the Danish company, Orsted, which of course is 50% owned by the state and 50% owned primarily by pension funds with private sector management. So that's a sort of win-win joint venture. So what I would urge the Secretary of State and the Minister is that when making investments through GB Energy, that actually they focus almost exclusively on 50-50 joint ventures, where actually the investments, the other 50%, should be private sector investment, preferably from British pension funds on behalf of British pensioners. That way, we get the best of all worlds, still with the quality of private sector management, because the truth is that governments can be good at funding things, they're generally very bad at managing things. So I would urge the Secretary of State and the Minister, when considering investments to be made through GB Energy, to adopt that model of only investing up to 50%, always ensuring there's private sector investment alongside. And of course, the Secretary of State passionately believes that renewable energy will be cheaper. So therefore, he should have no problem at all in inserting into the conditions for investment confirmation that within the business plan for investments, there is a clear goal to the investment resulting in cheaper energy for British consumers and taxpayers. And with that, I urge the Secretary of State and the Minister to, to adopt that 50% that restriction and the need for private sector investment. Thank you very much. Madam.